Today I'm going to give you my thoughts on the E5 uh, Rip Curl 4-3 suit and the new Drylock XL suit. I've had uh, Rip Curls for as long as I can remember, always been happy with them, but in recent times I've had some issues with my 4-3s leaking uh, almost straight away. I've had uh, three three twos and three four threes. The three twos have been amazing. I've got a one that's even six years old and it's only started to leak around the four year mark. So, And the other two I've got um, don't leak at all at present. So to get that much work out of a suit is great. I've um, re been retired for almost three years and surf every day if there's any decent waves. And so I, my suits get rotated, I, I wash them and have a dry one for the next day, a bit spoiled. <laughs> but, so I thought I'd give you my thoughts of the two wetsuits, and particularly when they're in that, in Australia, in that mid $600 mark, and, and in Australia we include our taxes. And so you can get a better uh, understanding if you're looking to buy a 4-3 wetsuit. So you can see they're distinctly different constructions. As you can see. And uh, we'll just have a quick look at the closer look at both constructions. Let's have a closer look at the inside of the dry lock suit. Firstly, we'll start by looking at the sleeve has a dry lock, unusual shaped end to it. They're very easy to get in and out of and watertight and doesn't feel restrictive at all. The sleeve's got a high pile jacquard finish and they claim that that has um, two extra minerals in it to retain body heat. Getting down to the seams in the, they classify as the action area uh, no stitches in this area and this and they're bonded triple glued and bond this tape is bonded on under high pressure so you can see this area under the arms is really stretchy and the sleeves are pretty well average in stretch but because of this underarm here you don't feel this tightness in the sleeve. It has the different material through the front here and the glide neck like most people have. And as you come down you'll see that this uh, tape is different than the tape over here and this one is also uh, uh, triple glued but it has a, a they call a quarter inch a stitch going through there for extra strength. The panels in the knees, as you can see, are a different material. And the jacquard here, the high pile, is exactly the same as in the sleeve. But this sort of pattern we've got here um, is, it's got a really deep pile and it has this crisscross feel to it. I find it extremely comfortable and warm, and particularly when you start uh, paddling quite a bit, it, that warmth builds up. So overall the Japanese limestone non-rubber construction is uh, very good. Now here's a close look at the inside of the E5 flash lining. One thing that surprises me is just how thick the tape for the seams are. Now this area here, down through here, is the area that I'm having issues with with my four threes, with rip curl. 
you can see the exposed stitching up through here and even up into the arms. But after looking at how thick that tape is, you don't feel it, which is a real surprise. You can see it's on here as well. So the basic it's the E5 tape and the flash lining goes completely from the tip of the arm to the, the base foot. The exterior has the zipper going from a different direction, so you've got to match it up. Now, initially that feels uh, freer when you initially put it on, and, but it is a little bit fiddly with, with the head of the, the zipper there. It doesn't seem quite big enough. You think it should be a bit more bulky than that. You have the smooth skin here. That's to uh, obviously attract a bit of sunshine warmth and also they coat it to um, stop the, the wind penetrating, which, I, which both suits have that sort of system. Okay, after having a close look at the construction of these suits, you'll find that they're distinctively different, particularly in the bind in the joints area, the binding, how they do the, the joints and the tapes. Now, if you had two brand new suits, both in perfect condition as far as uh, waterproofing, the initial feel of the rip curl feels better. Uh, once you've surfed in it, you don't notice it basically any difference once you start using both suits. Yes, you do getting in and out of them, the rip curl is easier. The rip curl, as I said, has uh, been leaking through this area here, and uh, so that's what made me try the XL. Neither suit uh, is perfect. As you can see, I've got a little bit of stitching on a brand new suit already, and, um, but the fit of the suit is the uh, rip curl uh, fits more to the body and the XL fits more to the position your body's in in the water, if that makes any sense. It's got a sort of a mould to you. You're going to be standing like this and this is what it feels like and your arms when you're paddling feels as they were there out here where the rip curl doesn't restrict you in that way but functionality you don't notice any difference. So they've just got two companies that make great wetsuits. And uh, so I hope my insight into these um, will help make your decision. I've just been unlucky, I think, with the leaking 4.3s. Uh, I'm gonna try to send uh, back again and explain how many of these I've had. And I'm going to also contact uh, XL because of that stitching's come undone on the first day. So none of them are perfect by the look of it. So uh, I'll try to keep you informed how successful I am with uh, customer service. So I hope you enjoyed that. Any questions, just leave it below and uh, we'll see you next time.